Hey guys, this is Eagle Creek and today I'm going to tell you how to upgrade your RAM on an HP Mini Netbook or laptop, HP Mini laptop as they call it. Uh, model number 110 uh, This is the newer version of it. It's got uh, Windows 7 Starter Edition um, compared to its predecessor which had Windows XP running. Uh, it still has the same amount of RAM memory and I personally think 1GB is not that much. Uh, so I'm going to tell you how to upgrade it to 2GB. 2GB uh, also is the maximum. Uh, first of all, Windows 7 Starter Edition only supports 2GB of memory. However, if you're going to upgrade to, let's say, Windows 7 Home Business or Home Premium Edition or Business Edition or any version of Windows 7, uh, you would still have the 2GB memory limit. Why? Because the processor that's in it, it's an Intel Atom, also has a 2GB memory limit. Uh, therefore, the whole laptop or netbook or however you want to call it uh, can, maxim can have a maximum of 2GB. Um, then, before I'm going to show you how to actually open and upgrade the RAM memory, I'm going to tell you uh, what memory you need. Uh, sounds very simple. It seemed to be it wasn't. Uh, I've called HP because I couldn't find out myself and they couldn't find out either. So they told me I had to call another company that worked for HP. Okay. And they couldn't tell me it either and they told me to go back to HP and then it took them like 25 minutes to find out. Reason for this is the following. I'll show you. Uh, this is a program called PC Wizard which shows you what hardware there is in your computer. And when you look closely, I'm not sure you can see it on the screen, but I try to show you. It says uh, it has DDR2 SD RAM 6400-800 MHz so you would say you would need PC2 6400-800 MHz RAM memory however the processor that's in it which is an Intel Atom uh, 450 I think shows on the Intel Processor Finder website that it doesn't support 800 MHz of memory so that's why I got confused However, HP says there's 800 megahertz in it, so you should replace it by 800 megahertz module. That's the second thing I want to warn you about. There's only one memory slot in the netbook. Not only one available, there's only one memory slot, and it's taken by the current module. So, if you want to upgrade your netbook to 2 gigabytes, make sure you buy a 2 gigabyte module. You need to take out the current one and replace it with a new one. Like this one. This is not actually a 2GB module, because I haven't ordered it yet, but the general idea should be the same. First of all, very important, always before changing anything with your hardware, turn your notebook off. Um, because this is only a demonstration, I will put it to slumber. However, don't do that, just shut it down. I'm waiting for it to shut down. Also, take out the power supply. It's only low voltage, but just take it out. You don't want to have any shortage or maybe worse. Third of all, this is the main reason I made this tutorial, the video tutorial. Most notebooks can be opened by taking off several lids from the bottom. As you can see, the new HP Mini doesn't have covers on the bottom. It only has a battery slot. In that case, HP site, the website tells you, the memory modules might be located beneath the keyboard. However, as you maybe can see, you cannot take out the keyboard. In that case, HP tells you to contact an HP sales point and let them do it for you. However, I'm going to show you that's not necessary. First, take out the battery. I would usually advise this, again, just for safety reasons. You don't want to turn on the net... The device while you're working in it uh, okay it's low voltage but you just don't want to have it however it's necessary in this case to take out the battery to upgrade your RAM module first slide this one to the right and then while you slide this one to the left it slides back so hold it take your battery out 
this is the big secret. Over here, you see a little orange. When you press this one to your left, you see there will be a space. And now you can gently take the netbook apart. I'm going to uh, do it this way. And there it is, the belly of the beast, so to speak. Just a quick tour. This is your Wi-Fi card. Uh, upgrades not either necessary since this one supports B, G, N, and N is the most recent standard. Below here is your hard disk drive. You need to unscrew this and take it out if you want to replace it with an HHD or or SSD or whatever you're gonna put into it. Below this is the processor. This is the CPU fan. Uh, you only need to take this out if you want to clean it. And below this are the memory modules, or there's only one memory module. So, take a small Phillips head screwdriver, screw it open, carefully two times on the left, four times on the right, and two times on the left, so you don't get too much of a tension. And there it is. Carefully take this one out. And there you can see the memory module. Um, I also want to remind you about static electricity. Uh, I've touched my radiator before I started, so I don't have any static electricity buildup. However, if you don't do that and you put out a, a sweater or something, you could ruin your whole hardware just by touching it. So always to touch a piece, piece of metal before doing this. This is the memory module and on the left and right there are little clips that keep it in place. So you snap this one to the left, this one to the right and it pops out. And there it goes. This basically is the, the current memory module that's in it. Here it says replace with HP spare. I don't know if you can read it, but trust me, it says that. However, I would, wouldn't recommend you uh, to replace it with HP Spare. Why? Because it's way too expensive. Uh, yes, it offers the best compatibility. However, you always pay the main price for it. I'm going to buy a standard, I think it's Corsair memory module, but you could use Kingston or any other memory type. And two gigabytes would cost like 30 euros. So that's about 40 dollars. If you would buy a 2 GB memory module uh, that's made by HP, you would pay 66 euros. That's 90 dollars. That's almost triple the price of a normal module. If you would want to buy a 4 GB module, you shouldn't because the laptop won't work with it. But let's say you have a laptop that does support 4 GB, then it would set you back 230 euros. That's 310 dollars. That's a huge amount of money for only 4 GB of RAM, since Corsair offers them for, I think, something like 80 euros, uh, $120. Anyway, um, as said before, this isn't the correct module. As you can see, it's, uh, it is the same. It's so dim. It's so-called laptop memory. It's uh, much shorter than a normal memory module. You take it out. And then you put it back in. Look at the little gap over here. This will help you where to put it in your laptop. It's on the left side in this case. You can see a little notch here. Just put it in. A bit tilted. Make sure it's firmly in. And then push it down. There it goes. Now, you put back the cover. Don't forget this. It's for protection and cooling purposes. Two or three on the right, six on the left, there it goes, on the right, and finish it, and finish it. There it is. And put back again the cover. Look at these nuts. Um, they tell you, uh, you can't really see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, put it always on on this side and slide it backwards so. and then you can just click it in place make sure everything says click and if it doesn't really work the first time just uh, 
keep applying pressure gentle, gently, keep applying pressure until there's no more space between it. There it is. Then you put back the battery, lock it back in place. Remember this one locks for you, you should do this one yourself and boot it and it should come back online in uh, a couple of seconds. There it is, it's the HP logo. And uh, well, that, that's pretty much all that's about it. Upgrading your RAM on the new HP Mini Netbook slash Notebook device.